Hi guys, I just wanted to show you my uh, my settings for my CPU overclock at the moment. It's the Q9550, and I've got it overclocked to 3.4 at the moment. The temperatures are looking pretty stable. They've been hovering around 50 degrees the whole time. They have maxed out at 58, 61. 56 and 56 but they're just peaks so relatively it's been staying around the 50s late late 40s early 50s and I've been running prime 95 for just coming up on nine hours now so it seems pretty stable if you look down here at CPU Z and take a note if you look at the core voltage it, sa it says it's only 1.264 volts and in bi BIOS it's actually set at 1.325 I believe so you can actually set it a little bit higher in your BIOS than what you think you need so okay that's just gone over the nine hours so I'll stop the torture test Three programs you really must have when you're overclocking. Prime 95, absolute definite. CPU Z. And real temp. So let's just exit out of there. And really, with those three tools, you can do pretty much everything you need to do. And maybe, you know, run. Uh, 3D Mark 06 or something as well initially so I'll just come out of Windows and we'll go into the BIOS and have a look at what settings I've got what voltages etc So it's really important to run Prime 95 for at least 8 hours to get a proper idea of uh, whether it's going to remain stable, something you can use um, every day as opposed to an overclock just to get a high score on 3D Mark Vantage or whatever. I always go for slightly less than the maximum overclock I can get, so um, I was pushing Four point, I was pushing 3.6 but it's really to keep it stable you have to be able to run Prime 95 for at least 8 hours on it and every time I was running Prime 95 it was getting to about 4 or 5 hours and cracking out so we'll just boot into the BIOS run an array so that's what you can see there right let's go in and see my settings so first off, what you want to do is go to your CPU configuration and just all of this stuff, I just disable it all because a lot of it, it, it tries to turn down your CPU if it gets overstressed and it, it basically you want to disable all this stuff if you're manually, manually putting in your settings. You can go ahead and enable stuff later and see if it makes a difference after you've overclocked. So, we're going to go into jumper free configuration. And then this setting here at the top, you want to set that to manual. Then you can go down to front side bus and memory config. And now I've got this unlinked. I'll experiment around with doing it linked, but for now I just wanted to push the CPU. And this starts off at 1333, this setting here, front side bus setting. Now I've set it to 1600, which I think with the memory I've got, the maximum I can get out of it. 
if I go further it, it tends to crap out I think it's to do with the memory being linked but these settings are good you can go by them you might not get exactly the same as me but, I've, but you know it's overclocking it's trial and error I've got my memory just at 800 megahertz that's stock setting so we'll be pushing that next let's go and have a look at the voltages the all important voltages and I've got my vehicle on voltage at 1.325 DRAM, which is the RAM, 1.91, which actually comes out at 1.8 in software. HT voltage at 1.32 volt. North bridge at 1.4. And the south bridge, I've just left that on auto. So system clocks, you just want to leave that at 100. You don't want to change that one. And then when you've got it exactly how you want it, go along to Tools, Asus Overclock Profile, Enter, Save BIOS Profile, Save to Profile 1, just overwrite that. And now you've got your profile saved. It's always important to do that after you've run Prime 95 because it takes so long to do those tests that you really don't want to lose your settings. But it's best to keep a pen and paper next to you and just jot things down as you go as well. So that's profile saved successfully. What I'm just going to show you. I just go to hardware monitor and you can see what your voltages come out at. So anyway, as I say, you might not get exactly the exactly the same overclock as me, but if you want to go ahead and use my settings for the Q9550 on the Asus P5MD motherboard, you're more than welcome. You might want to start a little bit lower on everything, just so you don't go wrong and then use that as a, as a baseline, because I noticed there wasn't any other videos on YouTube uh, with the Asus P5MD and the Q9550, so I just thought I'd put one out there. Anyway. Exit and save. Yes. And that'll boot back into Windows. Anyway, thanks for watching. Just wait so you can see it post. There we go. 3.4 gigahertz. Anyway, thanks for watching and take it easy.